Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's actually two parts, two separate videos into one. My wrist is still on the mend, so I'm not trying to go out and re-injure myself. So I met up with my buddy Scott. We went out, he rides trials. I just kind of hung out with him, watched him. Well, I got used to the function of my new wrist. If you can make it all the way through that, you'll come across the second part. The second part is where I met up with Travis from Every Single Sunday, who also brought out a trials bike. Brought one out for me, too. This footage is quite a bit older, but I didn't know what else to do with it. I figured it'd be fitting. So enjoy! Alright, today I'm in a super secret location looking for my buddy. <laughs> you led me right into the trap. <laughs> uh, this is my first ride back. Oh, that sucked. I don't know, man. I'm nervous. It's almost like the brace. Wow. It's a nice, that's a proper wrist. Yeah, we'll just take it easy and relax. Alright, well, I found my buddy. Uh, he's a trials guy. I figured I'd take it easy today. Uh, this is my first time back. But yeah, it's my buddy Scott. I've known him for a long time. He's always been in the motorcycles. So, yeah man, I'm gonna kind of take it easy today. I'm just getting used to my wrist. My new wrist. I think I had these things too tight. I'm alright, I got some. Good. Yeah, where are you parked? Right there. Oh, the weekend going. Good, I'm just starting to get back into the normal routine of riding. I rode a bunch yesterday on the street. A lot of stop and go. It's kind of bugging me. I'm learning what I can get away with and what I can't. The trial thing is fun. Oh, I believe it. It's hard. It's hard to get good. That's, it really makes you... I have a buddy that had a couple trials bikes and he came over and holy shit, if that doesn't work your core out, yeah. <laughs> not being able to sit, <laughs> you really notice it motocross and stuff you just power through it and this is all you know it's almost like a bounce you, you like bounce into it and then you hop it and then go over stuff you know? yeah and if you don't hit if you don't have the base technique down it's just you can't do anything either way it's a motorcycle and you're down for it this thing looks like it moves pretty good so yeah you take it out it's fun Man, this is all stuff that I would just normally just charge at. If I made it, I made it. If I didn't, I didn't. And now I'm terrified to even go over a pebble. Yeah, sorry if this video is going to suck, man. I'm just trying to get my movement back. Get comfortable. These Mobius wrist braces are solid, though, man. I can tell. Right, that wasn't too bad. So far, so good. I mean, I feel a little pain, not too bad. You guys make it look easy. Nice to meet you, buddy. Maybe one day. That's true. <laughs> okay, a new area. Okay, a new area over here. All good till I wreck. None. What time is it now, noon? It's probably one or two. 
I'm ready to go whenever you're ready. I, I'm, I just want to come out and see how, how I'd feel. So, I mean, I'm happy to stay out as long as you want, or as you want. Yeah, all right. The hardest part about it is starting. First gear is really low, so you'll just kind of putt around. I want to do second gear, just drive around like second or third drive. That's the break. <laughs> Not easy. Show off. Big ass lizard. So I've known Scott for a long time. I bet I've known him for 12, 15 years. We used to go on all kinds of motorcycle trips. He used to be a an MSF motorcycle instructor, which is weird because he's also crashed more times than anyone else I know, except for Z. Z's right. He's up there with Z. Yeah, this is the first time I've ridden in the dirt with him. It's good to reconnect with him on this level. <laughs> oh, what the f is wrong with these guys? Might be time to go. No, not in the parking area. Your window's down. I'm good, man. This is a good first day back. I'll tell you what, this Mobius race really, really gives me the confidence. I mean, not a lot. I mean, I'm terrified of falling. And the wrist did hurt. But I think it's just because I'm stretching it out in ways that I haven't stretched it in a bit. It's good to be back. It's going to be a bit before I can push it, though. So bear with me, guys. I promise I'll be back. Today, Travis, my man. How are you today? Uh, doing great, man. Excited to be out here. Have some fun with you. You brought out some trials bikes. I did. There's no seat. Where do you sit? Uh, this is going to be your bike for the day. Oh, man. This is a 2008 Gas Gas uh, 280. It's the Adam Raga edition. Basically, full factory bike from about 10 years ago. Still works fantastic. You said Joey Mack used to own this one. For a very, very brief period. Uh, it's been touched by greatness. So you have a channel too. I do. What is it? Uh, every single Sunday. Do a little bit more advanced uh, <laughs> enduro type riding, a lot of fun stuff. But still, we're just getting out there with friends, having a good time. Your channel's way more intense than mine. I mean, you guys are really putting yourself in the mess and you guys are pros. Not, not even close to pros. We're just some average guys out there that have been doing it a little bit longer, having a good time. And We're out here in the middle of nowhere. Mexico. Not the new one. The old Donkey one. show after this? Yeah, we'll talk about that. All right, I really don't know what to expect today. I'm just going to kind of follow your rules and your guidance, and so hopefully I don't break the bike or myself. Where's the electric start? Right here. Kill switch. Electric kill switch. So you don't sit at all? No. I don't even know how this is. Oh, dude. Uh, awkward. You're making it look too easy. We're going to basically do some slower turns and what we want to eventually get to is a full lock turn where the bars are fully turned. Okay. Now on a trials bike it's going to be a much more extreme angle than when you're on your big bike. I think I can do that. Yeah, we're going to be moving that. Oh. And as you get in you want to have the bike leaned in a little bit and you want your legs very open. 
So you're kind of dipping it to the inside. So as the bike comes in, we're going to be to the top of it. Make sense? Tight turns right here. You're going to get to where you're almost full off. I'm using muscles I haven't used before. Yep, these are the skills that will come into working on your big bike when you need to get the tech stuff. I already wrecked it. I didn't think it would be so hard. It, uh, I brought one of my other friends out last Sunday and uh, he almost died. That's reassuring. You ever do any trials competitions? Um, I did two or three last year. Not in the, I was like clubman or one level down. Nothing too crazy, but it's a lot of fun. The local Southern California trials groups are awesome. What kind of demographic trials riders? You see a lot of desert racers as a family sport, but going to the trials events, it's even more of a family sport. There's like two, three generations out there. I've been doing it for coming up on a year now. I don't hit any giant stuff. I've gone up some stuff bigger than my head, but uh, I have an absolute blast and I'm able to transfer these techniques over to the big bike. Hey! He makes it look easy, doesn't he? How you doing, sir? Having too much fun today. How are you liking that thing? This is a hard bike to ride. I figured some of that Joey Matt greatness would wear off on me, but it hasn't. This might be the hardest form of riding I've ever done. There's a lot of technique to it. And all I've done is nothing. Yeah, but how much did you learn? I feel like I learned a lot. You're gonna be able to take that, apply it to your big bike stuff, and uh, your next time out on that thing, you're gonna you're gonna really feel a difference on it. Travis, this was fun. It destroyed me. This is work. I do appreciate you spending the time and bringing out the bike. I appreciate your patience. That's for sure. Nah, it's a good time, man. I really enjoyed coming out here, showing you some new stuff today. Nothing super crazy, but like I said before, you'll be able to take that stuff, apply it to your big bike, and uh, make that thing even easier to ride. So I'm excited to see what you do with that for our next ride together. Towards the end of the segment, I, things started to make a little bit more sense to me. I started to figure out the clutch a little bit better, figured out that the bike's not going to stall. I, I figured it was going to, like when I first got on it, I thought I'd be stalling it nonstop, but it doesn't. So That's a 280cc two-stroke that's made just for torque. 